In this lecture, I'll teach you how to create a custom transition like this in PowerPoint. Very soon, we will proceed to the next slide, and the next slide, this time, when I select the format background, will be yellow. If you want to convince people to work with you and do explainer animation videos for them, you kinda want something unique. And if you go to the PowerPoint transitions, they aren't the most interesting. We have, of course, cool animations like the push, and of course, morph, and other reveals, but that's not really cutting it. I'll select none, I'll give the transition no time, and I'm going back to the previous slide. Create a circle, if you want a circle to do the transition for you. I'll position the circle in the middle. If I don't know where the middle is, I can always watch the ruler, view ruler, if you don't have it opened up, and select shape format, align, align center. This will align this shape perfectly in the center. Make the color of the shape, the color of the next slide. Shape outline. No outline, shape fill this yellow because the next slide will be yellow. Let me show you cool animations you can apply. This slide will take approximately like five seconds. So I'm going to animations, line, and I select a normal motion path. I select the motion path for the little circle to go up. I need to adjust it on the red element and I need it to go higher something about this. Okay, this should be perfectly fine. Now, when it's here, when this animation ends, I need to, with previous, I need to reduce the duration. I want it to really quickly come towards the top side, and I want to delay it as long as the slide will play, to about 525. 525 is okay. I'll just double click effect, give it a smooth end. Okay, and I'll not wait now because I would need to wait five seconds. This circle will fly into the middle of the screen. Once the circle is in the middle, add animation. Grow shrink. With previous, delay it a little bit so it happens after the circle enters the middle of the slide. Delay, delay. You can just eyeball it, delay it a little bit and reduce the duration to maybe 0.75 again. Double click on the animation itself to its effects. Well, smooth end, smooth start. It's not really important as long as you give it like 1000% or something that will cover the entire screen. You can try 500%, but I just don't want to waste time. I make 1000% so it grows 10 times. This should cover the entire slide. Let me make a smooth start and smooth end. This is perfectly fine and okay. Look what happens. The slide will proceed to the next slide immediately after all animations finish. When will all animations finish? When five or 6.45 seconds pass. This is a perfect duration. I go to transitions and I select after zero seconds instead of on mouse click. This tells PowerPoint that when all animations have played, continue immediately. You can even go for like six seconds, but the slide will not proceed until all animations have played. That is 6.45. Animations have priority over transitions. I hope this makes sense. It's just important that you remember that all animations need to play before the slide proceeds. Let me show you what happens to the presentation now. Our slide will be playing, blah, 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 shoot, edit, done. Five seconds are passing and we have this beautiful transition. Right now, you don't know it, but we are on the next slide. We are on this last slide immediately after this animation happens without you even noticing. And this is how you make those super cool transitions. You could have multiple circles like poo, 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 a cool transition. Yeah, very nice sounds. Thank you. This kind of cool transition can be made with PowerPoint, but as you can see with some tinkering and manual animating, I would like those transitions to be native options within PowerPoint. We are not there yet. Hopefully I can like tell Microsoft, hey, add those transitions. Currently, they are not adding them, but maybe in the future. So let's currently know how to design them. Let's do that together and we'll proceed to the next slide. And I will show you another cool trick there, of course. 